<sighs> Technical difficulties. Ugh. I mean, like a running gag. Welcome, one and all. Welcome, King Thunder. Apparently, the Chewie and Fuckface show. One moment, let me get me closer to my mic. Oh! We're going to enter Nexus, the more popular Souls version. Wow, there's one I missed. <laughs> okay, so. Of all the Nexes. What is the plural of, plural of Nexus? Of, I'm going to go with Nexes because I like that one. But of all of the. Next seas I could possibly enter. I got this one. Let me close it. Put it on the PS2. So, this marks the second Armored Core game in a row that I haven't played since the PlayStation ones. So, yeah. Nexi. Nexi, okay. Either way, I'm going to have to Google it because I love my words and that's going to drive me insane. <laughs> So I'm going to have to Google that after the stream. Uh, next I Kind of makes more sense to me. But, yes. So, Armored Core Nexus. Uh, mostly the the basic rig setup is um kind of playing games with me. Um, My cords are in disarray. My microphone was not connected and not doing preview audio properly. So I couldn't hear myself to verify that in fact things were working but that was because of prior shenanigans trying to get things sorted but nothing really dangerous nothing really nothing really bad so it's just just tedious that that I <laughs> it's one of the reasons I try to make a checklist damn Thalmor love their lists lists ooh there can't speak ah but anyway, here we go. So, I have not seen this intro. I have fired this up twice to test that the disc worked. So, here we go. Eventually. Okay, so that happened. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cool. Notes. This should be interesting. Okay, that intro, though. Um, don't know what to say. Um, definitely colorful stuff. I like... They, they've definitely upped their detail game in there, too. The glass shattering 
looked a lot better in this intro than some of the destruction that happened in previous ones. The flying AC, nice and nimble, is it's really energetic stuff. Um, wow, I'm just waiting for that coffee to kick in, so I should actually be awake in a few minutes. Not sure though how I feel about the uh, <laughs> the audio, the um, the vocals in the music, but the rest is the rest is good stuff. So let's let's party! Oh, and you bring up a good point, the point that I've been waiting for, for basically half the franchise. Whereas I could understand before they're not using analog sticks in uh, the PS1 games. Hell, I could un understand it all the way up to Armored Core 2 being like the first one using analog sticks. That would be, that would have been great. But they don't, so... We get this far in. <laughs> Took... 2, AA, 3, and Silent Line. And then they remembered, huh, PS2s come with these by default. Maybe we can do something with them, other than the buttons. Oh, so the blue intro, the blue intro, I see someone you meet later. That's, yeah, they, that's something I will have say about the uh, intros in past games. They aren't always someone who are, like, super important to the plot when they in include uh, ACs in the intro. I don't know if they included anyone important in the uh, PS1 games intros, but two had um, Frightener Squad. Um, another age had that uh, big red machine that I can't remember, was it White Knight or whatever, and three... Well, I'm drawing a blank, but I want to say at least one of those was in there. But regardless... So if they're, if they're making a play here, like add a plot important AC, and that's cool. I want to see how that shakes out. But first thing I got to do, since the right stick is available... Ooh, boy. I always do inverted look. I'm, a lot of people just freak out about inverted look. I've, I've seen so many people do that. But um, I've, I've been doing inverted look ever since I found them on controllers. It's just what I've known. So, inverted look. Let's see. I got the rough gist of some of these controls because I did briefly play in the uh, versus thing, the pregame, the, the from the title screen versus, to test some of the controls. So let's see. Fire. Okay. I didn't remember change weapon being on R two. So it's triangle. Huh. So that suggests to me that triangle doesn't have any other function other than dropping your weapons. That's I might have to change that. Let's see. Look resets on square. I would rather have that on uh, R3. What's on? What is on R3? Hmm. Yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and get into the game. I'm I'll I'll screw around with these controls a little bit more later because yeah I'm. That's gonna that's gonna hang me up a little bit because I, I have a feeling I'm gonna want the look uh, reset on the look stick because trying to figure out what that is. There's gonna be a little tweaking. Let's see. And same name as always, for continuity reasons. Liking the font more this time. Oh, what the heck, I'll just go with a Roman numeral X, whatever, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, and... Oh, FF12. Oh, good old standby for lots of good trivia, lots of good fun stuff. Ooh!
Okay, that... Oh. All right, sitting here chewing on an overcooked pizza while waiting for another cutscene to end. Okay, so they went with Aqua for Vaughn. They were going to go with Aqua at first. That would have made Kingdom Hearts a little bit interesting. I don't know what they would have done there. If... I don't know. Because I don't think they reuse too many character names at, uh, you know, aside from standbys like Biggs and Wedge, Sid some of the some of those throughout their FF games but um, yeah through a lot of their company titles I should say I'm stammering for words I'm not explaining myself properly but yeah but Square Enix does like callbacks to a lot of their titles so if they used Aqua there that would have been interesting to see what they would have done in Kingdom Hearts because that would have been something they'd probably hold for a callback for like a major character like that so, yeah. So, Vaughn was originally going to be named Aqua. And to be more rugged and world-worn, might have gotten along a little bit better with the uh, with Bosch. So that that's a thing. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to play through that at some point just to just cuz I like like Bosch quite a bit. I mean, the thief uh Balthier or whatever his name is. Him and uh, Fran were fun. Ooh boy. But getting off topic, so this game not um, a direct continuation of previous ones, so a new game file. New um new everything, just clean slate. So getting into this, I'm gonna have to get used to a lot of new stuff. Um, I seem to recall some new mechanics. What does the back of the box here say? Anything other than an overhauled graphic engine, which looks like AC3 uh, series, but better. Um, over 150 missions across the two discs of this, um, which the title screen should show us started with Evolution. The other one's Revolution for the callback missions. And in mission actions, this one I didn't really notice until today. I skimmed over the box when I got it, but I missed this. Players in mission actions determine how they advance through the game. But for some reason they capitalize advance, but okay. And they they have to advertise dual analog support as like the third bullet point, so good on them. Okay. FF10 Cloud. This Buster Sword is meant to be a usable weapon for Titus. Huh. I know I have a code breaker somewhere. That would be interesting to see if I could throw that model onto Khaled Bold. Huh. Or just use it as is if it's if it's feature complete. Sort of like the character Noromaro in one of the uh, Marvel vs. games. I think it was Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. They had like a whole character that was removed from the US version. Okay, so we got mail here. Starting with to New Raven from Ark HQ. The Raven's Ark, I believe he said. Welcome to the Ark. Your employment as a full-fledged Raven begins today. How you conduct yourself on the field of battle will decide your fate. The recent discovery of a new resource in the region has created an upsurge in corporate requests. These assignments are relayed to Raven solely by Raven's Ark Headquarters. Your compensation for completed requests is also handled through the Ark. Under no circumstances are you to accept work directly from a corporation. This is strictly prohibited. We recommend you check the report and contract I mean, contact briefings, briefings from time to time so as to keep abreast of new developments relating to corporate disputes. That's all for now. Again, welcome aboard. Okay, so that's their welcome to the fold. Ooh. So I have an Edgelord AC to look forward to. Nice. Probably not so nice for him, though. Okay, from the Operator, which they haven't named yet. Let's see if they do. Welcome to the team, Raven. I've been assigned by headquarters as your exclusive ARC contact. 
Let me give you a brief rundown in case you're not exactly sure what this means. I'm in charge of handling all your in-mission communications support as well as any administrative needs. Keep in mind, clients you will be working for only give out information on a need-to-know basis. Nothing more, nothing less. First mission request is waiting for you. It's an easy assignment that shouldn't give you much trouble. Now is the time to make your mark. Okay, and lastly, power struggles. Same person. Put together a brief report to help you get up to speed on corporations operating in the region. It's not much, but should suffice for now. Ooh, they display max top speed. Ooh, that that should be interesting for customizing heavyweights and lightweights alike. Ah, so we've still got Mirage, the world's largest corporation and a leading AC parts manufacturer. Their attempts to steal the new resource from Navi's are sure to bring the two organizations into conflict. And with the Navi's, a newly founded corporation that controls the region. Navi's discover the new resource has a monopolistic hold on it. Their discovery also proved the existence of a lost civilization. Ooh, joy. <laughs> Rest makes a return, the world's second largest AC parts manufacturer. They tread lightly when dealing openly with Mirage, but continue to expand their military strength behind the scenes. And Kisaragi. A technological innovator, the company possesses a strong interest in acquiring new resources and lost technologies to further their research efforts. So they like to dick around with the forbidden knowledge, alright. And. What might this be? Huh? What? Oh, I thought it was like, just... I didn't know it was a free cursor. Okay. That's... That's interesting, actually. <laughs> I was just pressing up and down on the D-pad, expecting to just toggle between these. I didn't notice... I thought it was weird it would jump over the top one, but here we go. And lastly, the report. Recently, representatives from the major corporations attended a meeting hosted by the Organization for Administration of Enterprise, or OAE, to discuss Navi's new resource discovery. Okay. During this meeting, Mirage urged Navi's to discontinue its monopolistic hold on the new resource and begin sharing the find with others. Navi's flat refused, refused stating that since they are in control of the region, it's not an issue which involves the other corporations. Mirage responded, by promising an aggressive investigation. The investigation is their penis. The conflict with... <laughs> between long-established Mirage and newcomer Navis has reached a point where open aggression between the two is inevitable. Okay, so the pronunciation war with Titus's name, so... Yeah, during the... Um, FF10 dialogue he's never referred to, I had a friend in high school who insisted it was Titus based entirely on Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, on Kingdom Hearts, the first one. Not 3, I mean, wow. But yeah, because his cameo appearance in a completely different franchise, someone says his name. It's like, yeah, if it was the Japanese characters, I, I'd like to see those to see how they pronounce, and they hit them... Um, how they have it written out, but yeah, the Titus thing always made more sense to me with the whole emphasis on water thing. It seemed to me to be more of a call to that. Mega Man 2 European box art. Wow. That is an image I forgot about. Oh my god, I love those old box arts. And they did a good callback to it with 9. All right, now what we got here? Ooh, shiny. So from Navi's, they want to remove the search team, so destroy all MTs encountered. And they provide a sizable advance. An advance so big it makes me wonder about the inflation in this game. Okay. So they have nothing to say, it seems. Okay just straight into the mission. It's like, here, here's a job. Go to it. Kill all the dudes. So now, I need to get a little handle on these controls, because it's a little bit a little bit clunky at first to me. I'm having a little trouble. Oh, this is... 
buttery smooth. Commencing operation. Wow. Okay, next time I stream, I'm going to have to uh, turn on the. Uh, what the? I have to turn on the 60 frames per second support because this is really smooth. Okay. Okay. Weapon switch here. Okay, I'm still in my head trying to jump with X and weapon switch with triangle, so... This might take... Ooh, that energy usage on the generators. These boosters. Okay. Objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. Oh wow, that that um that voice over the thing. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. That's um that's great. Okay, so they go full Snoop Dogg. Loved his level in Tekken Tag Tournament too. That was just the most ridiculous stage. Spinners, gold, and, and <laughs> low riders everywhere in a Tekken stage. It's crazy. Oh boy, so we have quicker customization as a result of the money is no object. All right. Okay, so more topics for more reports. Okay. I have to go. I gotta do something about this generator too the moment that I can, and probably the booster shortly thereafter. All right, search team attacked. Navi is to blame? What's this? Okay. Search team fielded by Mirage to uncover more information about the new resource hasn't been heard from since it came under attack. Um, you're welcome. Mirage execs convened an emergency meeting to discuss suspicions of Navi's involvement. Okay. Okay, can do something about the general. Okay, good. No comment has been issued by Navi's as of this report. At any rate, the incident has increased tensions between the two organizations. There's no doubt that this will evolve into an e even larger confrontation. Okay. And construction of garage base. I'm dropping out. I am. Ah. With nothing to show for their first attempt, Mirage has just announced the company's future plans to learn more about the new resource. According to the project outline, this will entail building a forward staging base on the Abax plane. I'll just go with the Abax. Well, then, Navi's controlled territory. Strong resistance to the project is expected. In addition, Mirage has rebuffed accusations that the project is an arbitrary action meant only for their own benefit. They claim it is vital to the future of all the corporations and requested that OAE support their actions. Okay, that's great, Mirage. Okay, so log. I'm gonna hit the circle button and see what happens. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so L1 brings over these menus. Okay, so garage, where are we where are we at with this? Actually best save. Just to get that ball rolling on here, so. Let's see, save info. Okay. Huh? Saving by this option, only partial information is retained. What? Oh. That's. That's weird. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Ooh, MGS 3 and 4. And good timing on the 4. Because I believe I mentioned in the last stream that MGS4 is among the last PS3 freebies for Plus. Okay, so I'm going to have to remember that on the quit game thing. Ocelot. <laughs> so he'll challenge you to a quit draw duel if you don't have a weapon. That is so rad. Oh... So many good games to go back and play, so little time. Okay, but first, 
Now, I seem to remember reading something in, in the manual about three different core types in this game. I'm going to take a peek at this one because I have a suspicion. Yep. Standard core. With no overboost or exceed orbit. Interesting. I'm sure there's some perk or benefit to that, but... Did not expect that. So, let's see. Generator, what we got? Let's see. Output. Okay, so 79, 22k, and 28. Okay, so just so I know what to look at real quick. Okay, yeah, that, that soft save thing, that's, um... That's gonna get me in the long run. I'm probably gonna wind up messing up at least once, so if there's a progress regression, that's probably gonna be it. Okay, so more output, condenser... More output. What have I got for funds? 5,900 to play with. 59,000 to play with, I should say. Ooh, tiny emergency cap. Hmm. This looks a little bit more manageable. Might be the G91. Not gonna be that one. Yeah, I think this... Oh, no, I can't get that one. Okay, so next contender looks like... Yeah, it looks like this one. Okay. Lotus. And they've got new names, too. I'm going to have to get used to some of these names. Alright, so put that generator on, because this thing was just... This thing was just dying. The, the, the generator was just not cutting it. The booster's just probably chugging too much juice. So, that'll be next on my to-do list. So let's go into that shop. Eh, I'll do it after another mission. Let's see how this handles now. West... A Bax Plane. Oh, Counteract Save Scumming, okay. Eh, that's cute, FromSoft. There's a reason it's called Save Scumming. I love that in Pokemon. And welcome one and all. Alright, so we have Protect Mirage Base. What we got here? New flashy mission briefing. Did it have any more remarks or statements? Nope. Protect the base, shoot down all shoot down all helos, defend the base. Yeah, they they cut straight to the quick. They keep all the plot stuff in those little summaries and, and reports and stuff outside the missions, so that That's interesting. How are my neighbors doing? Okay. Yeah, next week I'm totally gonna have to up this to 60 frames when I start streaming. Well, before, obviously, but, you know, you get the point. Ooh. Somebody called the ATSTs. Eh, brings new definition to the phrase head cannon, I suppose. How would that actually work in, like, a real fight? Uh, no pilot plus? Bummer. Thanks for that heads up, though, because I was actually kind of wondering about that this morning. Um, I was thinking about that and, you know, op intensify, op, eh, op intensify human plus. I was curious if that was a thing. Main system. Engaging combat mode. <laughs> Rise from the grave. The uh, okay, that's great. Oh, what the... Okay, time to get used to this. Okay, so blues are my guys. Missiles. I think these missiles will benefit. Okay. Okay. Aiming's not quite where I need to be. Uh, I'm going to need some more practice with that. But, this is so nice being able to use the joysticks. Oh, man. This is so much better, this generator, too. I mean, because... Holy crap. Oh, man, those MTs. They just... Yeah, they just were doing a whole lot of staring. It's like, huh. Helicopters. Imagine that. And they get wailed on. Come on, missiles. Do your missily goodness. Okay. 
The enemy is coming from behind. All right, here we go. Oh, crap. And I just ran out of juice. Okay. As long as I keep track of these enemy dirt bags. Did she just tell me to get to work? Come on. I love that voice. I talk shit, but that's really funny to me. There's this really low quality voice. And it's totally intentional. I love that. I mean... <laughs> it's like I kind of hope that that's still a thing on other heads. Because I kind of want to keep that. And I know I'm going to have to change heads and I'm going to be sad. Ugh. Oh man, pizza delivery. Wow. Pizza in the most rugged environments. 30 minutes and no shrapnel or your money back. All right. <laughs> okay, see, um, go ahead and save again real quick because that's a thing I need to get better at. Totally different sound effects for the most part, too. I mean, not the select sound effect, but the, uh, that notice sound effect is, a uh, classic, so that's cool. Okay, I'm still burning through energy like it is going out of style. Eating juice like, uh, I don't know, turkey at Thanksgiving? So, this thing's externals are going to have to be customized at some point, but that point is not now, so I need a new booster. So let's see what I'm up against. Oh, getting a little bit chug here. Alrighty, we have... Let's see, energy drain. Oh, and that's another thing I forgot about, um, because I was doing a little bit of reading. The booster heat, all the boosting applying heat to your own machine. That's something I'm gonna really have a hard time getting used to, especially I know there's gonna be some battles that heat things up. Let's see. 9, 4, 35. Alright. Um. Cause I I don't do heat all that well. Um, it's gonna kick my ass, I just know it. So I'm gonna have to probably eventually build a machine focused around that, which is gonna be. If I do it, it'll be the first time ever. So let's see. Ooh, birdie, and that's nice. Let's see. Ooh, prolonged combat. Let's see, lower heat. This one has lower, I mean, even lower heat, but charge drain's a little bit different. Hmm. I might stick with... I'm probably going to stick with one of those uh, first two. Okay, birdie or the B81. Let's see, do I have enough to... Yeah, I can afford either one, so let's see. Yeah, I don't think heat's going to be an issue right now. But I'm probably going to wind up downgrading, or side-grading, I guess, to the birdie in the future. So I'm going to go with with uh, the B81 here. Ooh, the Vulture one. I don't think it's available, but even if it is, I don't have much money. Uh, no Vulture here, so... Sticking with the B81 for the moment. Slap that on, see how that handles. Okay, where you at? Boop. All right. So now we have two missions. One at the Raven's Ark, which... Let's see if it's a tutorial or something. And one on Aria Hill. Uh, let's go ahead and save again, because... Getting used to saving. Yeah, okay. Um, I was expect I keep expecting that notification to disappear on its own, so... I'm not rolling saves. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how the rolling save thing will um, work exactly, but... I'm still gonna kind of try it. Oh, man, number jumps. Yeah, it's like a over 50% speed upgrade over 50%. I didn't even notice that. How did I miss that? I'm I guess cuz like the primary metrics I'm used to looking for are like the charge drain and uh 
booster power, and I, I always... They always take a back seat to speed. I've never really built an AC specifically around speed. Alright, so... Job at a training facility, 80k. Here we go. The briefing is started. Oh, we have our marks this time. Evade a sufficient number of missiles so accurate data can be acquired. The more you avoid, the better your costs, and the better your reward will recover will cover all your costs. I don't have a good core or any extensions for this. So I think. I'm going to come back to this one in case it's still open. Ooh, let's see if there's any new topics as well. Okay, yeah, here we, here we go. A multi-purpose training facility operated by Raven's Ark is now available for use as a weapons testing and development ground. Ooh, purging all the weapons at the start of that one. Okay, I'm going to try to remember that one. Because that's, that's not something I'm used to doing. Oh, you can fail that mission. Like perma-fail, okay. Built by Mirage, using state-of-the-art technology, the installation is completely soundproof and was constructed to withstand both fires and earthquakes. What about floods? Ravens are available to participate in tests at a cost, and all research carried out their location is held in the strict strictest confidence. The facility Having already received favorable praise from Kisaragi is reserved for the next six months. It promises to become an important source of revenue for the Ark. Okay, next, about OAE. Receive a request from OAE. Their administrative organization, hence in their name, whose purpose is to oversee corporate ongoings and maintain order among members of the business community. Good luck with that, guys. Okay, so the circles around along missions will eventually fade. Okay, so I'm because I don't want to do, go too long without doing that mission, but I do want to make sure I get enough money to like get an, um, a missile extension. However, they are much too timid in their dealings with the corporations, which makes their ability to exercise influence negligible. Proof of this was made evident when the organization gave into Mirage's recent demands for support of their investigation efforts. Oh, so they've already caved. Hmm. Because of the setbacks encountered in completing Mirage's new base, a decision has been reached where an OAE will provide Mirage support uh, with, uh, with supplies. The decision is viewed as a result of Mirage pressuring the organization, and there's already some criticism of it from within OAE's ranks. I love OAE's veggie burger emblem there, their little icon. I mean, Mirage, they're just, there's this kind of armor core standard. But OAE's got this great green burger. It's like sandwich delicious. I want to finish my pizza, damn. The supplies at the center of the whole debate will be stored at a nearby OAE facility before they are finally shipped off to, to Mirage's base. That sounds like something that's attackable. Let's see. So, okay. Destroy support supplies. Okay. Does Who's requesting this mission? Okay, so... This and the next... Four entries support dropping weapons for speed. I was just kind of getting the hang of doing that in the previous one. It's like they run out and then I drop them. I only did that like a couple of times, but okay. Oh yeah, dual wielding. <coughs> Proper dual wielding. I cannot wait to try that out. Destroy containers. Take out as many as possible. Destroying a sufficient number of containers will entitle you to additional rewards. And OAE is... Wait a second. They want you to destroy the supplies they are warehousing. It's interesting. As if they were trying to covertly with withdraw their support from Mirage. Interesting. Make a Raven the Fall Guy.
Destroy as many of the supply containers as you can. Work quickly. Okie dokie. So this mission might see a little bit more blade use if I can the hang of that. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to get used to that. Okay, yeah, this is... This control scheme, I'm gonna need some pra practice here. Okay, quotas. Yep, that's very corporate. Okay, jump, jump. Jump around! I don't recall if I ever equipped that other booster yet. Okay, come on. I uh, don't know if that's... Okay, switching to moving guns now. Moving guns. Come on, little dude. Just, just eat it. Die. Eat it! Eat it! If it gets cold, we heat it. Come on. Go. Huh? Oh. The blade and the booster being on the same shoulder is kind of weird. Oh, a shotgun. Ah. Who's up top? Oh, ceiling turrets. Okay, probably best not um, waste all of my bullets here. Let's see, a little more. Rifle fire, destroy a few more boxes. Okay. Yeah, off stream I might have to play around in verses to see if I can get the controls a little more comfy. Ooh, 10 seconds. Come on. Ooh, they're having a serious supply shortage now. Ooh. Okie dokie. Yeah, the shotgun would have been a great um, thing to grab. You do well. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. All righty. See what I'm looking at reward wise. Okay, so special edition takes care of all my costs right there. Nice. I can live with that. I feel like I'm piloting like one of the low-level arena NPC bots, but um, yeah, I can get used to this. I can totally get used to it. Yeah, that was definitely a lot of damage. I was down to like maybe a quarter AP, but um, still made it. I made a profit on the mission, so. High payouts are definitely a good thing. What? A ranking? What? Huh. Oh, so arena opponents. Okay. So can't challenge them here. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait a little bit on painting the AC until I'm... A little bit further on because it hasn't been aesthetically upgraded like at all so let's see if I got that new booster on yet if I even swapped to that I don't even recall if I did yeah I did okay felt like I was still burning through juice a little bit fast but that might have just been I don't know Whew. what do I have credit wise I'm trying to think of the next upgrade, and I kind of want something other than this energy blade on the left. So if there's like a shotgun there, that would be interesting. Okay. Optional parts. I'll come back to those later. Okay, so that's a blade. 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 Rifle. Okay. Okay. Rifle exclusive to the left arm. Okay, another rifle. Dual rifle with missiles? Um, hmm. 
being able to properly dual wield and um, and such that 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 would be something to look into. I don't know about missiles there. Machine gun and shotgun. That sounds that sounds about like my speed though, because I like to have have consistent damage and heat people up, and the shotgun for a bit more wailing on them and and doing high burst. Got a machine gun, machine gun, handgun, shotguns, handgun, handgun, bazookas. Ugh, nope. Here we go. Energy weapons. Yeah, I do need to get some energy weapons at some point just to keep the uh, money train rolling. So let's see, any more shotguns? Okay. <clears throat> ammo. Where's the ammo capacity? Mag capacity. Oh, that's another thing I forgot about. Magazines. Let's see. Hmm. So that's going to fire two shots till it reloads. Two shots to reload. Okay, so let's see the attack power real quick on these. These. Okay, right. They put the attack power by ammo. That's that's great. I like that. Machine guns ch being changing to be fired in burst. Ooh, that's going to be interesting to get used to. Might play into dual wielding strategy now. Okay, let's see. I think that one might have the higher... Hmm. Let's see, 142.72 or 129.72, but three rounds in a magazine. I think I'll go with... Okay, yeah, I think I'll go with the WL85S here. Three rounds in a magazine. Oh, reload time. What's the reload time? Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Ooh, boy. Customization. So, like, something every mission now. Okay, up, up. Oh, hangar units. There's something I forgot about with the standard type. Cores. Ooh boy, dual wielding. This is going to be interesting. Okay. You know, there's an AC test thing here. I underutilize this when it's when it's available. So let's let's see how that shotgun feels outside of a mission. See if I can get a little bit more of a hang on these controls. Okay. Interesting. Engaging test mode. Okay, so L1 and R1 are fire. I, I might have to flip that to uh, L2 and R2. Okay. Yeah, I've got to flip that. Um, something's... Okay, I'm trying to get used to flying and dual wielding. Okay. Okay. Little verticality in my rotation here. Okay. Ah. Yeah, this takes a bit of focus to get used to, but I think this. Ooh, left hand sniper. Let's see. The worm. Disengaged. Okay. Now I'll take a little bit of FCS balancing, grab the the right FCS for a sniper rifle. Huh? Oh, screen just went black for a second. Okay. Let's see if the worm is already available in shop, so I know what I'm up against, and then I'll probably sink another mission real quick. I'm a little low on funds at the moment. Mold. Okay. Going through the machine guns. Bazookas. I missed that that was an energy one. Damn. 
Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back for that, because... Wyvern. Wyvern. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come back for that one. Energy weapons for the win. Okay, let's see. Worm. Hmm. Wait. We're coming up on laser rifles. Blades. Okay, back to... Okay, yeah. It'll be in the shop later, it seems. Okay. So, one more mission I think I'll have time for, and then probably have to sign off. So, let's see. Here's... Sh oh, right. That one's about to fade out, so need to grab a missile extension first, and then... Come on, shop. Let me go in. Buying power! Okay, let's see. Radiator ex inside. Extension, okay. Booster, booster, hover booster. Interesting. Okay, Metal Gear Solid 3. I didn't know you could shoot the parrot in there. I actually, I knew that he used that as a tracking bird. But I did not know you could take the parrot out. That is very useful information. I might have to... I might have to write that down and just, like, throw that in the manual. Obviously not write it in the manual, because I don't... That's <laughs> not my style. Okay, let's see. Anti-missile extensions. Energy. Solid. Suigetsu. What's it? Missile counter? Oh, okay. Don't have the money for that one. Ugh, crap. So I'm going to have to sell something to be able to buy one. Yeah, that's something, um... A lot of older manuals had that little thing that said, like, notes for, um, reasons. I was... N I only ever wrote in the notes thing, like, once, and then afterward I felt like a jerk for it, because it's like... Oh, wrong, uh, wrong button. Oh, right, part tuning. Uh, let's see. How do you sell parts? Oh, right, in the shop. Uh, the big sell option should have been a hint. Okay, hangar cores. So those would be the ones I'm assuming are the ones they're calling standard. And of course you got the two types of EO. And overboost cores, which I likely won't be ever using again. <laughs> unless a specific mission calls for it. Come on. Wrong one. Huh? Okay, what... What even... Does it not allow you to sell your stock weapons? Huh. It doesn't allow you to sell your stock weapons. And parts, I suppose. Hmm. Well, saving time. Because I want to try that missile thing. I want to, I only have to use that just to get better at dodging anyway. Ooh boy. Those note sections. Hmm. Yeah. In my case, what I would probably do for notes is like since most cases are big enough to support it. Throw, like, a sheet of printer paper in there with, with or notebook paper or something alongside, um, with, with the notes instead, because I, I realized almost immediately, I think it was the manual to the Super Nintendo Killer Instinct that I wrote in the manual to, and I felt like a jerk for doing it afterward. But I've always thought to myself, if I ever sold any of my games, that in the case of them, I would have, like, a thank you letter and some, like, thoughts or fun facts on the game before selling it. You know, just something that, that like, uh, the buyer would get a little use out of. You know, some little tips and tricks or maybe a chuckle from some dumb fun facts. But yeah, I'll, I think I'll never write in the actual manual again. 
Okay, let's see how I can pull this one out. Tap into your inner Gohan and learn to dodge. The test is about to begin. Okay. Avoid as many missiles as possible. Main system. Engaging combat mode. Okay, oh, so this thing does have a little anti-missile. Okay. Gotta be careful, make sure... Where is it? Okay, I already lost track of the missile launcher. Okay, it's over this way, okay. Where'd you go, dude? Okay, woo! And... There you at. okay. Cannot lose sight of him. Because my... Okay. So he's the orange target on the radar if I lose track of him. Okay, whoa! Keep him at range. Okay. Don't want to get too close. My FCS keeps losing him, so... Okay. Oh, I'm taking too many hits. Oh! Oh, move. Oh, crap. And I lost sight of him for a second. Cool. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. All right, not exactly unscathed, but a little practice with the booster there. I don't know if I was just not supposed to fire back, but I didn't fire back. So, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely switch those buttons. Let's see. Ooh, 8,000 credits special edition. Alrighty. Ooh, a cut from Metal Gear Solid Force ending. So the grandfather of... Oh, Johnny. Took me a second to remember who that was. Okay. Naked Snake n met his dad. Meant to, meant to show up at the... Whoa. They cut him from the wedding? Bummer. Okay, Kisaragi. New swag. This message is to inform you that the following merchandise has been added to the shop. Arm unit, G10. New shield design specializing in solid round defense. Okay, okay so, so useless stuff to me. That wedding scene, though, that... <laughs> Just a hair away from a shotgun wedding. Okay, so, yeah, where's... What was the last thing I was going to get? It was a... Um, anti-missile extension. I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and then I'm going to save and quit so that I don't forget to do that. Let's see. Shop, shop, shop. But yeah, that'll that'll basically be it for me this week. Okay. I'm going to have to look up that official artwork, though, of Johnny's dad. Because I don't recall if he had a balaclava on at, like, all times in, uh, Yeah, here we go. Suigetsu is the one I'm going to go with. Oh, man. That 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 wedding, though. I mean, just... Holy crap. And if I, if I recall, I want to say Meryl was still armed at the time, so... <laughs> I mean, the world they live in, I don't blame her, but... Damn. She does not let her guard down. Go, Meryl. Okay, but anyway, that is going to be me for the week, I think. Come on, memory card. Save! Okay. Weird audio glitching. But anyway, thank you one and all for popping in. Thanks again, King Thunder, for the good bits of trivia, and Master Alan 3 for the reminder about the Pilot Plus stuff, because, um... I was really thinking about that, and I, I did not recall if that was still a thing. So, yeah, I'm going ahead and sign off. It's going to be me for today. Uh, tomorrow will be Front Mission 3 at 4 o'clock. Wednesday, more than likely Resident Evil HD. And um, following weekend, we'll...
probably be the same schedule as usual, but it's a work weekend, so sometime during the 4 o'clock hour is my goal, as always. But, uh, okay, let's see that little last bit before I sign off. Okay, B and bs take off the Beast part of our outfit to reveal their beauty. Hmm. So Kojima was dictating his fetishes, uh, fetishes on, sc on screen. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh man, that was... He got as close as he possibly could. Um, but either way though, thanks again, and that that's a fun fact to go out on. <laughs> Kojima, he's so, he's, so, he's so crazy. This has been the Chewin' Fuckface Show. Good fight, good night. And I will see you when I see you. Later, party people. Hmm.